there are many times when I question, how come, how come I was saved when six million Jewish people were murdered? Gigi McKendrick is a survivor. My life changed drastically when I was brought to Canada as an orphan at the end of the world, Second World War, after the Holocaust. And I was taken around and mentored by one of Canada's foremost artists and educators, Dr. Arthur Lismer. And it was then that McKendrick started to realize her purpose moving forward. What he saw began to be my motivating. If he saw something in me, I then, shortly after, had to bring it out to take what he taught me, become a teacher, and then become an artist myself. McKendrick, who is on the mend following a recent fall, uses her skills as an artist to create works in many different forms much of it to educate and raise awareness about the Holocaust, but also other events, like this year's 50-year anniversary of the murder of 11 Israeli Olympic athletes in a work she calls Dreams Destroyed, Dreamers Remembered. The most important thing is their names, lives, and then you see the transition, how the memorial begins, you see the arm of violence comes in, and then you see less and less of the symbols of the Olympics as the tragedy occurred until you have only one. McKendrick is also known for the faces she captures, literally. I have created the faces and hands of at least a thousand, if not thousand, of live people because I believed that I could show a face and time, one, but that we each, including me, have more than one face. An old firehouse serves as McKendrick's home and studio. It's filled with projects past, present, and future. I am never short of the next thing I would love to do. That may well include a book or taking the poems she's written and recording them to music left behind by musicians who died in the Holocaust. So what, again, better can be remembering, remembering Munich Olympians, remembering Holocaust human beings that were musicians and did not survive. That, my book, the poems, and hoping that maybe better days might come. In Baltimore, Sue Copen for State Circle.